Hey guys, welcome. Today we are doing a little meal prepping. I wanna share with you how not only do I prep the food for myself, but the meals I also make for my family and basically cook once, eat a few times throughout the week and just to simplify the week ahead. So if you're looking for some dinner ideas, some motivation, some inspiration to just start your week off successfully and hearing a cell phone chiming in the back, then this is for you, let's start. So on the menu quickly, we are going to do air fried chicken, uh, ch boneless skinless chicken thighs for myself. We are going to do a Greek chicken thigh that Leo's gonna barbecue. I'm gonna make Greek potatoes. I am going to make um, just like a regular mashed potato for myself. And um, I don't know, maybe I won't do mashed potatoes. Maybe I'll do like a skillet potato. I think I'll do a skillet potato. There's gonna be a potato for myself. And we are going to do Hawaiian roll um, like cheeseburgers for the family. And I'm going to do like my own uh, ground beef mixture with like a homemade salsa on top. I'm gonna make a homemade salsa. What else do I have in mind? Um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be pretty simple, pretty to the point. Um, I have a really busy week ahead and Ray is working, Leo's working, so I wanna make sure that I have food prepped so um, Ray could take it to work, Leo could take it to work, the kids can eat, and I'm real busy with work this week too. So um, these are just the things I like to do like on a Sunday where I'll sit down and I will just kind of plan out a couple different recipes and all basically they will have to do is just heat it up. Leo is also going to make a tri-tip roast. So I feel like we have a nice selection of foods to go around. I think I might also make a little bit of rice. I think I might do some rice. I haven't done rice in a while and I think I'm gonna do some of that as well. So just really simple ways, things to make. Now you guys know I am on my own, like I don't even wanna say weight loss right now, but um, we kinda are on a wellness journey. I am at the point of maintenance right now and we are going to, we're going into a reverse. So basically I'm trying to increase my calories while keeping my weight at a maintenance level. This is really exciting, but it's a slow process. So if you guys are trying to reverse, remember to take it slow, slowly increase, watch your body, watch how your body reacts and all such things. But we are going to start, I wanna start actually marinating the chicken drumsticks. I wanna to respond to that text message from my daddy-o and start our day. Also, can we take a minute to appreciate this elf, this shirt? Isn't it so cute? This is from Halara, and I tell you guys, it has a built-in bra, and also, I didn't showcase this, but it has, like, the bra clasp right here, so if you wanted to, like, tighten your um, top, you can. I think I have... A discount code if I can find it I'll leave it linked down below but so freaking cute this is the color they call it nosegay and I love it I have like a one piece romper it's like my favorite color from them right now and I just been digging it so let's put up our hair let's put on our apron and let's get to cooking while I have your attention you know we're real friends here and you know I got to put you on and I don't gatekeep if you are anything like me between work the kids life trying to get on this fitness game, I am tired, okay? And I was, I have found myself constantly reaching for either an extra cup of coffee, energy drinks, honey, I was sluggish, okay? So I was looking for more natural approaches instead of just like pounding down energy drinks that are full of crap and, you know, just multiple cups of coffee. It's just things I did not want to do because not only that was I taking these like boosts of caffeine, I was finding myself crashing even harder a few hours later. So it was just a constant like hamster wheel of like caffeinating, crashing, caffeinating, crashing. So when I came across a magic mind, I was like, let me try it, okay? Because a lot of brands, a lot of brands, a lot of people will say they help you um, get natural forms of energy and this and that. And I'll be honest with you, it either was not strong enough for me or it was too strong and I had like a jitters and a headache or I crashed really hard. So I have been using Magic Mind for about a week now about a week and I have been using that as like my midday like boost of energy okay and first off I keep these in my refrigerator on the top shelf that's where I do and these are the shots how freaking cute first off these are so cute now you could take these as a shot you could add them to like your drinks to your coffee whatever I just take it back as a shot this is what it looks like I take it just pop in the fridge grab it um, and I really do love it so it says um, product it's Magic Minds Productivity, the Productivity Elixir. Subly sweet, boosts energy and focus, crush procrastination, elevates mental clarity. So 
let me tell you why I really do like this. So I'm not a matcha person, but it's not terribly matcha, which I could say like, you know, some matcha is real earthy. This one isn't. It's a little bit sweet and it's such a small amount. It doesn't bother me either way. But what I really did like, so it says it has the nootropics in it for focus, matcha for energy, adaptogens for less stress, and vitamins for immunity. So there is um, the matcha in here, right? So that acts as like your form of caffeine. But which I did not know that how caffeine works, it's not the actual caffeine that gives you the energy. Caffeine actually blocks the this receptor in your brain that prevents your body from like getting sleepy, right? From like crashing. So basically with caffeine is it works for a couple hours blocks that receptor and then it just it drops and doesn't work and that receptor pops up and it pops up even stronger with the matcha it helps the receptor stay pretty much mild stay cohesive in life so you're not crashing and it gives you a nice clean form of energy um, another thing that it does happen here is the um, ashwanga it's ashwanga and rhodiola rosea which helps decrease stress and low-grade anxiety <laughs> my anxiety is high grade because we're designer around here but in all honesty though you know how some energy drinks will be so strong it kind of makes you anxious not the case at all and too much ashwanga for me actually kind of triggers my anxiety but this is like the perfect little cocktail that keeps me steady honey and we all about steady and stable okay it also has lion's mane and cordyceps mushrooms with help with uh, clarity and focus also if you guys are really looking into helping natural ways for your immunity natural ways to help focusing there's all different types of mushrooms and they are super super good for you i'm um, definitely do your research but i'm glad that they are including mushrooms because mushrooms these they really out there okay so really look into it lion's mane is new for me i haven't ever tried that one so I feel like they are good. I feel, I don't, you know, I'm not going to lie and say it's a miracle, but I feel real good, real clean, real focused. I don't feel anxious at all. There's no jitters, which is really important to me because I hate having the jitters. It has the L-theanine in it, which it helps with the matcha for the energy. L-theanine also um, helps with anxiety, which I did not know. It's a really good form of uh, keeping you calm and collective, but it also is a really good way um, as a form of caffeine for energy. And then it has Bacopa Maniori, which is a natural nootropic, which helps with procrastination and impulsivity. And let me tell you, that midday thing, I am easily distracted. I also, you know, struggle with a lot of those. So I do find myself like starting one thing and going to another. Um, I get lost on the ticker talkers a lot. This helps me stay focused at the tasks on hand because usually midday is like that before school lets out hustle where you're trying to do everything you can before the kids get home and like that after three chaos happens and this is where I feel like this truly does shine again super good for convenience you can take this to the office with you you can throw it in your gym bag you can keep it in your purse you can add it to any of your drinks again I just give it a good shake toss it back it's real lemony for me it's not like bitter or anything like that it doesn't taste like an immunity shot you know immunity shots are kind of spicy so if you did want to try magic mind and get your hands on that again if you're trying to focus really on what you're putting in your body giving yourself some really natural forms of caffeine um really focusing on quality and what you're ingesting I think Magic Mind is the way for you. They are offering us a really great offer right now um, just so we could stay focused. You know, it is, we are finishing out the second month of 2024. How are we looking for our goals? How are we doing for our resolutions? Are we staying in the game? If not, if you need some extra focus, if you need some extra energy, this is for you. Hey guys, check the link down below and you get 56% off your first subscription for the next 10 days definitely recommend put these in your fridge keep your head in the game keep your body wide-eyed and bushy-tailed and keep the anxiety at bay all with magic mind i'm telling you this is little shot is like a little miracle it's going to keep us looking good feeling good and keep us keep our head in the game anyways i wanted to share that with you guys let's get back to cooking this is the marinade that we're going to use for the greek chicken it's just like a Greek dressing marinade. I found it at the Jewel, but I wonder if they have a website. Oh, they do. There you go. Can you guys see that? Hold on. Let me get a... All right. So there is the website if you guys want to order it for yourself. But it's basically olive oil, red wine vinegar, water, Parmesan, cheese, hmm, some filler. Anyways, I'm going to take this and I'm going to take my chicken drumsticks Throw them in a Ziploc bag and let them 
soak. Let them soak. We also have this piece of ribeye roast. This is the rib from the ribeye roast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's already seasoned and everything. It was in the freezer. Guys, I'm telling, I, I should probably mention this. I am going through my freezer and cooking up every, all like the proteins that we have because I have to go to Costco and I wanted to see what I have. These are just things that we've had extra that um, Leo can eat, you know, on the side. My dad will stop by. We just have food cooked up. So there's always something to, like I said, heat, heat up, eat. Um, Ray is working now. So, you know, and she has school. Leo's working. So there's always something for them to grab and be out the door with. And Leo will probably finish these. He's going to throw these on the smoker and you're going to do the tri-tip on the so smoker? Yeah, probably the drums, the oh, yeah. Probably, like, so you can throw like, everything on the smoker? Probably. Well, that'd be good. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to go on the smoker along with the chicken and the tri-tip. I love it. We did, uh, for my birthday party, we got the pre-made scallop potatoes and they sell my, um, at Costco as well. And we threw them in some foil tins. We got four packs and put two into each foil tin and Leo threw them on the smoker. That just added them on the smoker to heat them up, really just set them off and gave them such a great flavor. So if you are thinking about maybe getting a smoker, this is a good year, good time of the year to think about it because they're starting to go on sale. I recommend. I feel like it's a really big game changer and I also recommend a flat top grill because I feel like that's another uh, big game changer, especially when it gets real hot and you don't want to heat up your house. But this is that tri-tip. I'm not going to eat this either, but it's good for the family. Again, guys, search your freezer, get everything ready because that is, you got to shop what you have at home, clean out your covers before you start throwing stuff on top of your freezer when you go to the grocery store. I've had to learn that the hard I way. I have a bunch of potatoes. It's like a whole, I think it's like five pounds. How much is in this bag? 10? No, it's not 10 pounds. Five pounds. Five pounds of Pound these of potatoes for everybody. Huh? Pound of potatoes for everybody. Okay, anyways, so half of these are going to be, well, probably a good chunk of them are going to be the Greek, and then I'm going to keep some for myself, and I'm going to actually put them in to my air fryer and do like a crispy potato to go with my ground beef mixture. So this will be for Greek, and those, this will be Greek, and then these will be for me. So I don't know, I think maybe I'm going to skip rice. This is also how I kind of do things. I kind of go, at, I kind of fly by the seat of my pants. I'm not going to lie when it comes to sides because I have, I always have rice on hand um, just because it's cheap and you buy it by the bag, right? So I um, have rice on hand most of the time, but sometimes I just like to kind of keep things a little spicy, get a little, a little exciting. Um, I've also been eating a lot of tortillas lately, so I've been kind of, you know, backing off on some of these bits, but they're good. And now that my carbs, I'm out that cut, I can eat a little bit more, which I enjoy. So anyways, gonna cut these up, dice them, and then I'm gonna show you how I will make the Greek potato. I have my oven preheating at 450. Greek potatoes do take some time. Usually Greek potatoes are cut into slivers, like long ways, um, but I'm doing it with and diced up but you can do it however you want it's super simple just full of seasoning that's why i like greek food so much because it's so full of seasoning our whole tray of potatoes now i am going to tell you guys um i would recommend letting them sit out for a little bit because they're going to give off some water um so let's do that i'm going to actually put a bit uh, a paper towel down on them just to absorb. I try to do this. So I try to just go through because the potatoes are gonna sweat a little bit and they're gonna give off some water and I just wanna grab it so they're not watery, you know? And just take a little, and you can tell it kinda absorbs it a little bit because you don't want your seasoning to get like watered down either. But I also go heavy, like I season with my heart, okay? I am not like a one or two tablespoons. I am season, season it until you can't season it anymore, then season it again. We are gonna use some avocado oil. All right, I have two lemons here, and we are going to take the zest of both lemons. I just have a little zester. Basically, it's just the skin, like the yellow of the, did I say onion, the lemons? Take the yellow off the lemons. You're gonna do both lemons. And then you're also going to take the juice of both lemons. 
What I also like to do when I am doing this, I will cut them up and I'll even put the rind in here just so it can give off like a beautiful like fragrance and I feel like you can really taste it as well. So yeah, just go through, take the zest and the juice of two lemons. Just make sure you get like to the white. Once you see the white, you're done. We have the zest on there already. It's nice and coated. We're gonna take the juice. I just use my little juicer here. And as for our seasoning, I have this. This is like a Greek seasoning that I'm going to use from McCormick. I think I got that at like Sam's Club or Costco. That's what I'm going to use. But if you didn't have that, it's basically salt, pepper, garlic, and oregano. That's really the, the heart of um, the Greek uh, potatoes, Greek chicken. Salt, pepper, garlic, oregano. So let's do that. Give it a nice heavily heavy seasoning um like i said if you don't have the greek one that i have you could just go ahead this one has no juice in it these lemons were a dollar 39 each or no i'm sorry a dollar 39 a pound which is a lot so and then we're going to go through with that greek seasoning and season it nicely Okay, season it nicely, going through, and then once you got a nice covering over here, you want to see your seasoning, okay? That is the thing with this. Let me give it a little bit more. nice and fresh too we're using a nice um oil i'm gonna throw some minced garlic in here and now we're using hmm, that much you gotta make sure you keep the vampires away okay so with this we're using non-inflammatory oil so we got a nice avocado oil or you can do it um extra virgin olive oil um fresh lemon you know everything is really really good really fresh we're getting good micros we're getting good carbs good fats all of that right and then i take these and i throw them in here and i will bake them with the potatoes and then i cook them at 450 for about an hour we are still in it to win it these are my potatoes right and i just have them in this bowl i'm going to spray them with a little bit of olive oil like non-stick just to give the seasoning something to adhere to um again these are just because i'm a little bit more macro conscious but if you wanted to use a little bit of olive oil feel free but i just use a little bit of this and what i'm going to actually season this with is the dano's seasoning it's the spicy seasoning this is the one i got i got it on clarence at walmart and i really like it i think it's really good i'm gonna throw these in the air you know what i think i'm gonna pan sear these so they get a nice crisp because i'm actually going to air fry my chicken um if you guys are new here i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna put you on so instead of doing boneless skinless uh chicken breasts that are dry venture out boneless skinless chicken thighs the fat macro is only difference by like one or two grams very very small as long as it's boneless and skinless and the flavor is superior i will always um i always like to air fry mine i air fry mine at 375 for 20 minutes and it's my favorite my favorite way to do it it's very good very easy another thing i wanted to show you guys as far as sides so we're gonna let those potatoes sit a thing that i also eat a lot throughout the week i have a couple of these in my refrigerator is cactus salad if you guys would like a video on how to actually prepare i am like a cheater a cheater cheater pumpkin eater and i buy mine pre-made just because i'm lazy and it kind of takes the ingredients kind of will be costly so it's kind of cheaper to buy it this way um sometimes depends on time but anyways it is cactus right so we have cactus in here tomatoes onions um cilantro jalapeno it's very very good very very 
um, has a lot of health benefits, very macro friendly, very good for digestion, very good for lowering blood sugar. I mean, it is absolutely delicious. I eat it on top of my eggs in the morning. I eat it with um, my chicken as a side, just something fresh and light and super good. So I have a couple of these. This is where I buy it from that I make about every two weeks is I pickle my own red onion. That is what they look like. I just thinly slice red onions. I take, um, for this one, I, I had about three red onions, so it was quite full. And I take three red onions, um, two cups of boiling water, two cups of apple cider vinegar, but I use the one with the mother, so you get the added benefit of the nutrition from the apple cider vinegar with the mother. It has super, a lot of health benefits, check it out. And then I put a couple packets of stevia in there, like three or four, um, stir it and let it sit in the fridge, you know, three to four hours. The longer it sits, the better. It's good in the fridge for about two weeks. And I eat this on top of everything. I'll throw it on top of my cactus salad. I throw it in my salads. I throw it on top of all my food. I add it um, when I'm cooking certain meals for the family because it's a nice spice, um, nice kick, nice flavor. And they are so freaking good not spicy and just delicious again getting that great i love pickled anything and these are so good so definitely try to try them out absolutely scrumptious right, so we have the traeger going you just put it right on yeah oh, there we go how long do you do you have a temperature set uh that one's probably going to take about two hours maybe it's two. a pretty big piece of meat. okay we'll see. we'll see we'll temp it Oh, fancy. Okay. Do you set a temperature on the actual grill? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, oh 218? That's like their perfect temperature? Because it's no, like it's slow, a, right? It's supposed to be 220, but we had the little one. So. Oh, okay. So then we have the tri-tip, and then we have drumsticks. The, the drumsticks going on, and then he's also going to do the rack. No. Yeah. Rack of lamb? Rib rack. Rib rack. Rib 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 Beef rib rack. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Oh, look at how nice the coating is on those, huh? Oh, that's going to be good. Okay, so we're going to let those cook a couple hours, and then we'll head back into the kitchen and finish the stuff. So these are my potatoes. I just put them in a frying pan, a little nonstick spray, and I just have them on like low medium because I want them to get nice and crispy, kind of like a crispy like hash brown, like breakfast potato type bits. I love them like that when they have a little bit of a crunch. So we have that going. There is the uh, Greek potatoes down there. I'm actually gonna pull those out and wanna give them a nice toss and then we're gonna sprinkle some fresh parsley. Here are those uh, Greek potatoes. They're looking really good, but they're gonna take probably closer to an hour, maybe 40. So Greek potatoes just notoriously take a really long time and my oven's also off, but I'm gonna wait until it gets closer and then I'll sprinkle the fresh parsley on them when they get closer to being done. We got some time that the potatoes are still hard, but they smell good, huh? Yeah, they do. It smells real nice in here, friends. In this pan, we have some diced up onion. I tried to mince it, girl, that was a bad idea. We gonna move on. That just came out to a watery clump. But anyways, um, I have just a half of a white onion kind of like diced up and I want to kind of pan sear them down. We are making homemade sliders and I want to cook up this meat real quick or this uh, onion first and then I'm going to add the meat to it and kind of go from there. We got the potatoes over here still doing their thing. For the sliders, we are going to use, well, for the sliders and for like all the ground beef, it's the 93% lean ground beef. It's the one I get from Sam's Club. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty lean. Um, we are going to season um, this meat too. We're going to do um, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, Worcestershire, and I don't know if I say that right, but that's how I say it. How, how do you guys say it? Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Sophie, how do you say it? Worcestershire. Worcestershire? Worcestershire sauce? Yeah. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of salt and pepper on here as well. But yeah, cook down your meat till there's no pink. Mix it in with the onion. We're doing two pounds of ground beef. This is the Hawaiian 
bread rolls, right? I ended up just splitting them down the middle. What I am going to do, the oven's already going at 450. I'm going to put a small coat of just some mayonnaise on there and throw them into the oven and let this get nice and toasted so the bread doesn't get soggy. It's really good and just a quick little thing. Leave it in there for like seven or eight minutes, not too long. The ground beef is still going. We're about to season that up. I'm gonna add in a little bit of tomato, a ketchup, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of Worcestershire, and some salt and pepper. And season it to taste. Boom, boom. Back here, I have going boiling or like softening, whatever you want to call it, cooking. A half of an onion, a one and a half tomatoes, and a whole jalapeno, because that is going to mix with my one pound of ground beef that I'm gonna have during the week. So um, I wanna hurry up and make these though, because my dad is here and I wanna feed him and then we can have these for dinner as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start compiling that. But you know, I just wanna let you guys know too, these boards that the Hawaiian bread comes in, they can actually go into the oven. I didn't know that. All right, friends, let me show you how we are doing these. First off, I toasted the bottom layer. I added some mayonnaise, threw it in the oven, I think at 350 for about 10 minutes. Gives it a nice crisp crunch so it doesn't get soggy. And then I'm taking white American cheese, it's my favorite, and then I am putting a generous amount, just coating it with some sharp cheese. This meat mixture that I made is enough for two batches of these, okay? Remember in the meat mixture was mustard, ketchup, mayonnaise, and just taste it. Just taste it and see how you like it, and then just add more. Um, and then I did slice the sliders, the Hawaiian rolls down the middle, whatever. Coated it with some melted butter, threw it back in the oven at 350, baby. It was fire! I'm telling you, make it so good! P.S. I did add a sprinkle of Italian seasoning on top of that melted butter, threw it back in the oven, you know, and let it bake. It's like five minutes. So freaking good, guys. Try it. Forgive me if this video is kind of like out of order, but I'm just going to show you I'm cooking. This is real life, okay? This is a real casual vloggy vloggy type deal. Greek potatoes. I just leave this in here just so it kind of keeps the flavor. You just see I added that fresh parsley. I mean, right? Look at this. So good. Very, very full of flavor. Delicious. Still soft, but it has a little bit of a bite, which is the way I like it. These are the Danos ones, so good. Oh, wait, excuse me. Uh, these are the Danos ones, super delicious. Again, really easy, just slow and low for both of them. These are those, this is the second one of the sliders, so this is what's left. Um, very good. That like way that meat came out, delicious. I added a couple, I had two of them. Um, I added uh, a pickle slice to them super duper good highly recommend if you guys are hosting the game day or if you're looking for like an easy meal but like something different for you and your family so good so good so easy but it's a way different like a different way to have ground beef you know how like you're like what am i i got ground beef what am i going to do with it super simple very good and i guarantee you, you have like all the condiments in your uh, fridge already the melted butter with a little bit of italian so good so here I have my one pound of ground beef cooking up, and this is the cooked up peppers. I'm gonna throw these into the blender. I'm gonna add a little bit of nor chicken bouillon and a little bit of cilantro to it. And once the meat's cooked down, I'm gonna add it to the meat and I'm gonna sear, I'm gonna simmer it for a couple, like 30 minutes or so. You could add potatoes. I made this in a different meal um, a few days ago. You guys would have seen it, but I'm just not adding the potatoes. I'm just gonna season the meat like this. Just a different way for me to have it. Um, for a meal, just to kind of add a little bit of something, you know, just different ways to enjoy the same thing. I keep my proteins very simple. I keep my meals very simple, but I keep my seasonings. That's where I get fancy. So that's if you're looking for a way, that is the way. The stuff on the smoker is still going. We got a little bit of time, but we are looking good. Put in the air fryer. I'll show you 375, 20 minutes. Oh, geez. And this is what I use. The Kinder's Le Lemon Butter Garlic, or the, their Lemon Pepper, but make sure you get the one that has the salt, not the no salt one. But it is so good because it's such a great flavor, and I love it on the air fryer because it gives it like kind of a crispy, almost like a fried, like a deep fried kind of feel, but it's not deep fried. So good. I don't like the Buttery Steakhouse one from Kinder's. I feel like that's super salty. But this one, this one hits. Now, 
this is what I did with this. So you can see it's pretty green because of the cilantro, but it was tomato, the tomato I boiled, the jalapeno I boiled, the hepa onion I boiled. Um, what I did end up adding was a couple pickled jalapenos, a little bit of the juice of the pickled jalapenos and a couple of the carrots and just blended it up. And I added some nor chicken bouillon. And what I do is I just taste it and I just kind of see how it tastes. And then if it tastes good, I leave it. And if I feel like I need some more, I add a little bit more. You know, I season with my heart. Do you guys season with your heart? Anyways, I'm just gonna mix this up and then let it simmer on the oven for, or on the stove for probably about 10 minutes. Doesn't it simmer long because it's pretty cooked? Um, if you were to add potatoes to this, is which I traditionally would do, you could add anything. I mean, you could throw your whole, um, you know, vegetables, everything, whatever you have on, on hand, you can toss in there. Um, but you would just simmer it until the potatoes cooked all the way through. But for me, it's, since it's already pretty much cooked, I'm just letting it join and marry and the flavors do its thing. I'm gonna wash up some dishes and then we're gonna get the air fryer out, start on our chicken. <sighs> we are really rocking and rolling. I don't know about job, I'm getting tired, okay? We've been at this for like three hours already, but non not like nonstop, we've, you know, just take some time but anyways we got the chicken going um the stuff's still out in this like in the smoker seasoned the front and back of the chicken with the i really hate how nothing focuses season the front on the back of the chicken with the lemon butter garlic and then this is the ninja ear foodie or ninja foodie whatever it's called and then i just put it 370 ear crisp 375 for 20 minutes Bada boom. This is a half sleeve of boneless skinless chicken breast from Costco. <sighs> Got a sink full of clean dishes. I'm cleaning as we're going. Laundry is going. I'm going to vacuum my house. Just doing a little bit of a reset. So food is cooked. Ray actually has a friend coming over. So they're going to eat some more of the sliders I made. And they're going to watch the Grammys. Sophie's going to her friends. We, we got, we're, we're, we're being productive, but I'm setting myself up for a successful week, okay? So let's just put that affirmation out there. It is a good week to have a good week. It's a good day to have a good day. Something wonderful is going to happen today. We're going to do something today that's going to make our tomorrow even better, like prepping our food for success. First round of chicken. Sorry about that. First round of chicken is done. we got allergies over here. It's just unseasonably warm temperatures. But, um, yeah, let me show you here. So that is kind of how they come out. Nice and crispy. And then I just kind of keep everything in a Tupperware. So usually my, um, let's see, is it, is it? there we go. So you can see it has a nice crisp on it. It's very, very good and it's still really juicy and it reheats like a dream. So my por protein, portions are four ounces so typically this will last me um till like wednesday thursday and um it might it might make me just till wednesday just in case i have to send some stuff depending like sometimes the kids will eat it and stuff like that but um this i think should last me about thursday which is nice because then i can have a prep day on friday so I have the whole week we should be right off the smoker. Here is that Greek chicken. Oh my gosh, it smells so freaking good. This is like summer. Doesn't this remind you of summer, Lee? Mm -hmm. Giving you good summer vibes. Oh, I love it. That is the beef, 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 she's beef ribs. That's what we're gonna call it. I don't know. You guys, I said it 15 times. Leo is so mad that of my uh, lack of education on meat, cuts okay he, he's protein. protein he gets mad now he says i should know this by now but i forget okay anyways chicken fire so good with those greek potatoes it'd be a whole thing or you can pair some of the regular potatoes with that as well or you know we can make something else i don't know but as long as the proteins are cooked i could always make another side but we got a lot of potatoes on deck and we're a potato kind of family all right so anyways we got that and then here is that tri-tip can you hit turn the light? Sorry, I turned off all the lights because I know I did turn off all the lights, but look at this crust. So good. And then, so basically what he does is when he takes it off of the smoker, he lets it sit before he cuts into it and then he'll slice into it and it'll be nice and juicy. Do not cut your meat right away like off the grill. Let it sit, let it, you know, do its thing and then cut into it because it'll dry out real quick. Right, baby cakes? Mm -hmm. Yes. So. 
what did, what did we cook today? We cooked a tri-tip. We cooked the beef ribs thingies. Chick beef ribs, not thingies, just beef ribs. <laughs> Chicken, right? And then we cooked the ground beef, the sliders. They're still looking pretty. They're still looking real good. Looking real good over there. That's what's left, okay? Like I said, Ray's friends are coming over to watch the, the Grammys. So we have those. And then we have my air fryer chicken, which is looking real good, ready to be eaten up. And then we have the different types of potatoes. And then I also made that ground beef with the salsa. Lots of good stuff. Lots of diff different options. There's something here for everyone. We all can eat. We can all maintain our, our goals. And we can all do it with home-cooked meals. You know, eat at home. Save your money for eating out because it's just too damn expensive. I tried to take my kids to McDonald's the other day. It was like 50 bucks. I hope this gave you guys some ideas, some inspiration, some motivation. All the Asians. I'll see you on the next one. My dog's going to go crazy. See you guys. Bye.